before you even start the car up or anything like that with your learner for the first time, get them to become familiarised with the controls. You've got to remember that they've been driving around in a car probably for 16 years with you and other people. So they just basically know exactly what to do, they just don't know where all the controls are or what they do. Just show them what the park, where the gearbox is, moving into drive, park, the handbrake, how to actually take it off. There's a little button there on a lot of them, on the older cars, so lift it, you have to lift it up fractionally and push the button in and then it'll come off. The little button, the little button is a safety thing. Without it being pushed down, the handbrake won't come off. Show on the foot brakes, you've got the brake, accelerator, brake, accelerator. Give them instructions, put on accelerator, brake, brake, accelerator, 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 brake, brake. That way they can get practice before they even take off of which controls control what. Then show them the indicators. you got the indicator there. Down, indicator right, up, indicator left. It's very simple. Now most cars are all basically the same. Turn the headlights on. First click is parkers. That'll illuminate those dashboard lights and the little lights at the front and the tail lights at the back. One more click will be the headlights. You can see the headlights on. Generally, if there is a blue light on, such as here, when you actually turn the headlights on, that means high beam. So you pull that back, if it push it forward or pull it back, and it'll either take it off or put it on. Then you've got other indicators. You've got the indicator lights that actually tell you where the actual indicators are indicating. You've got a hazard light switch somewhere. That one there, pull up, and both, both hazard lights come on. Or well, the indicator lights, which shows hazards to other motorists, pull it down. A lot of cars, to take the keys out of the ignition, there's a little button somewhere, you push that down, and then you can turn it. That's a safety feature. You'll notice that it just pops up, or well, here's a click, and that. Show them all the indicators, all the controls, the misters, choke on the older cars, fuel, electronic fuel injection, you don't need it. You've got the demister, heater controls, that's a blanked one, it would have had an air conditioner there at some stage, cigarette lighter, radio, get them to practice turning it on and off, but do it before you actually take off. Then all you have to do is if it's too loud, just one little control without taking your eyes off the road. You can do it automatically.